Valdosta State University football and the playoffs are underway. Here's Pinder at the five. Pinder's going to take it out of there. Pinder on the other side. Pinder at the 40 down the sideline. Here goes Pinder down the sideline. Sean Pinder is going to go. Sean Pinder. Sean Pinder. Sean Pinder is going to go. Touchdown Valdosta State University. Sean Pinder takes it from the four yard line all the way down the field on the opening kickoff. Valdosta State University is on the scoreboard. Just seconds into the second time that the Blazers have ever been in the playoffs and Sean Pinder takes it 96 yards down the field and the Blazers are on the board and this crowd is going bonkers already. Pinder 96 yards. Here's the P.I. The Blazers to kick off at the left end of your dial. Going to kick it high in the air and going to receive the punt at the 14, to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, to the 32-yard line. And Albany State. Jackson is the quarterback for Albany State. Took over in the second half of the first game of the season. Going to hand off to that fullback, and he's going to crash down to the 35-yard line. A man who doesn't mark numerals. Valdosta State all in black. Black hats, black shirts, black pants, white numerals trimmed in red. Wants to throw down the field. It's high in the air. He overthrew everybody and he took a tremendous lick from James Lockhart. It's third and six at the 35. Balls on the far side hash working to the left end. They give it to Leroy. First time this afternoon. Tackled at the 38 yard line. Oh my. We tackle Leroy, the yes side. Brad Trout did for us. So if those guys can tackle well, we'll be in good shape as the day goes along. Chris Campbell will punt it away from his own 25. Gary Goff, the senior, back deep for the Blazers. Going to catch it at the 18. Goff's going to reverse his field. Now goes straight ahead. Goff's going to dive to the 27-yard line. And this crowd found senior quarterback is going to touch the football. Going to hand off on the left side. Vontrell Mitchell cuts it to the outside. Vontrell at the 30, to the 35, to the 40, to the 43-yard line. And out of bounds. Smith and the Albany State University coaching staff. First down, Valdosta State at the 42-yard line of the Blazers. Rolling right, looking to throw the sprint pass. Got a man down there, going to catch the ball. The Rocket, Rodney Brown's going to catch it at the 43 of Albany State. The Blazers. Four wide receivers. Watch the inside run here from Montreal. On the far side, Nico and Sean Bender on the near side. Got one of those tight ends out there along with the Rocket. We're going to hand off to Montreal. Straight up goes Mitchell to the 35-yard line. Picks up nine yards. Three to play in the first quarter. Valdosta State leading seven to nothing. Got the rocket wide to the right side. Funderburg looking left all the way. Now with the middle. Got his man. Pinder's going to catch the ball. First down. Valdosta State at the 29 yard line of Albany State. Making the tackle for the Rams. In on the guard line. The lone setback is Vontrell Mitchell, the second thousand yard rusher in Valdosta State football history. Going to hand off to Vontrell on the right side. Huge hole. Vontrell dives across the 20 to the 19. Just inches shy of another VSU first down. Just opening huge holes. Boy, that O line leads seven to nothing. Here's Funderburk in the shotgun, looking to throw on second and inches. Got some time. Rolling right. Throws over the middle. Going to be incomplete. Intended for John Taylor. And broken up in Florida. They're going to bring out the trainers. Now he's going to be able to limp out under his own power. Blazers lead seven to nothing. 11:20 to go in the first quarter. Lightning struck early, folks. Here at Basemore Hyder Stadium, the crowd is really filling it up. Up and uh, we may not approach that record crowd of 10,948 people back in 1994, but we got a lot of folks here, many of them wearing the blue and gold of Albany State. Going to be in the slot on the left side. Vontrell Mitchell, the lone setback for the Blazers. Albany State jumps off sides where they dress North Alabama. Last week, West Georgia snapped an 18 game home field winning streak. Funderburk over the middle, wide open. John Taylor, he dropped the football at the 10 yard line. And in the tight end spot on the right side is Cooksey. Funderburg looking into the end zone. There he is. Touchdown. The Rocket. Lance goes up top. And number one in the hearts of Blazer fans everywhere. Rocket Rodney Brown catches the 36th touchdown pass of the year drawn by Lance Funderburg. And for the Rocket, he's able to haul in his 11th TD toss of the night. TD with a
with 11.09 to play in the first period. Mike Everson's a great throw and catch. Rodney gets one foot down, Lance. And Wayne Devane will hold it. The kick is up. The kick is good. John Douthit nails his second consecutive PAT. And the Blazers lead 14 to nothing. We'll take 60 seconds a minute. Paul McCall will kick off for Valdosta State. End over end, high kick going to be taken at the 14-yard line, out to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, to the 34-yard line, returning the kick for Albany State. Under center, they want to run. They're going to give it out of the backfield to Leroy, and Leroy is going to take it to the 40 ton bender, which just electrified this crowd here at Baysmore Hyder Stadium. Going to hand off to Leroy on the right side, and this time the Blazers stack him up. Great job. Some the second half of the first game of the season. Wideouts left and right. Jackson going to hand off to Leroy. Straight ahead. He takes it into the 49-yard line. I was senior from Tipton back out there at that linebacker spot. I backfield going to hand off to Leroy again. He's going to go off the left tackle, take it into Blazer territory. Hard line of VSU. Under center, they go to Leroy again. He's going to take it down to the 47-yard line. He'll be stacked up. It'll be third and five at the 47. Valdosta is 180-pound sophomore from Jackson, Mississippi. Third and five is going to give it to Leroy. He'll be stacked up at the 45, and the Blazers are going to push him back. Desmond Baker. Finally, we were able to get Jarmal Stevens out of there. Gary Goff has drifted back to the 10-yard line. Now we've got bells and whistles and flags. The state so far showing no signs of being able to stop the most potent offense in the United States of America among Division II football teams. Boy, what a kick. He got off a boomer and boomed it into the... ...updated on that game. Funderburg's going to be under center. Montrell Mitchell, the lone setback. Wideouts, two of them on the left, two of them on the right. Straight ahead goes Fontrell, takes it to the 25-yard line. Boy, when... Again, two wideouts on each side. Fenders in the slot on the left side. Sean Bender already has caught the attention of this crowd. He's going to catch the pass of the 25, takes it down the sideline, bypasses one man, cuts it back toward the middle at the 46-yard line. Sean Bender for the first down. Do they say he stepped out? He did at the 38-yard line. In the first quarter, Funderburk under center. Got Carlos Brown, long setback behind him in the backfield. Going to roll right, throw the sprint option. Looks down the field, going to throw right into the feet of Nico Cooper. And uh, apparently for the Highland Harlan Hill Trophy, trying to win the best player in the nation in Division II. Goes straight up the field, and we're going to fall down. Funderburk on third and nine, out of the shotgun. Deep drop, looks to throw. Got a man over here. Taylor's going to catch the ball at the 45, to the 50, down into Ram territory at the 45-yard line. John Taylor dropped one earlier right in his hands, but he knew what to do with that one after grabbed it in first today wide to the right side of the field Gary Goff wide to the left side Funderburg wants to throw into the end zone there's Bowman he juggled it and dropped it Bowman out distance three silver 10 at the Albany State 40 four and a half yard line Funderburg under center this time he's got Vontrell Mitchell and Carlos Brown in the backfield Going to hand off to Carlos. Carlos takes it out the left side, dives up the middle, takes it across the 35 to the 34-yard line, and the freshman. Every time they've touched the ball this afternoon, let's hope that continues. Under five minutes to play in the first quarter, leading 14 to nothing. Split backs behind Funderburg. Going to hand off to Carlos Brown again, straight ahead. Brown's going to take it down to the 25-yard line. Football game, Von Trell, the lone setback. Wideouts, two of them on the left side, looking left all the way. Back across the middle goes Rocket, but he wants to throw in the end zone to Nico! they say it was out. I thought he had the touchdown right. 4.08 to play in the first quarter. Blazers lead 14 to nothing. Albany State jumping around. Four down linemen for the Silver Hats from the Good Life City. Funderburg's going to hand off to Vontrell. Straight ahead. Got some room. Going to be knocked down at the 19-yard line. And it will be. A Vs this year have taken less than three minutes to complete. Here's Funderburg in the gun. Looking into the end zone. Funderburg, plenty of time. Rolls right. Still got time. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Now he's going to be dragged down at the 28-yard line. Finally, one of the defensive linemen for tonight. 7.20 airtime, 7.30 with a tip. Here's Funderburg, play fake, looks to throw, looks right, looks left. Now he's going to be knocked down at the 35-yard line. Two consecutive sacks. When have we ever seen that during this football season? 2.35 and counting in the first quarter. Blazers lead 14 to nothing. Third and forever out at the 35-yard line. Going to go down the field. Going to be almost picked off by Albany State. Threw it right into the hand. See if they can't pick up. 
it's got the big play. And if not, I'm just trying to open up there. Cooper. Now the Bowman comes in motion to the near side. Funderburg, then he doubles back. Funderburg races the right knee. Looks to his right. Got the football. Wants to throw down the field. Going to be incomplete. Intended for Bowman at the 15-yard. Rams with the football. They're going to hand it off on the right side. Get maybe a yard, maybe not. Could be a pass here. Leroy got one yard. It'll be second and nine at the 36-yard line. This time they're going to hand off to Leroy on this side. He's going to take it to the 41-yard line. He's still going to be tight. Here's Jackson. Jackson going to hand off on the right side. They take it to the 45. Should be short of the five. I don't understand that at all. 25 seconds to go, and no way they should go. 844. Fans on both sides of the stadium rise to their feet. They're going to give it off to Leroy, and he's going to dive across the 45, and he should have the first down, and I believe he does. In Albany State, zero. We're going to take a 30-second local break. This is down. 10 yards to go at the 46-yard line of ASU to start the second period. Trailing 14 to nothing. Play fake. Looks to throw. Down the field. Throws it far down there. Got a man, but he's not going to come close to catching the football. They wanted to put Purvis Jackson under center. Jackson. Going to hand off to, this time to his fullback, not to Leroy. Rams at the 49-yard line of ASU. Blazers with six men up at the line of scrimmage. He wants to throw, comes out this side. Going to throw it to Leroy. Going to catch it down the sideline. Straight ahead goes Antonio Leroy in the 10-5 touchdown. Albany State, no flags anywhere. He threw the swing pass out to the right side, and Leroy for Albany State. As a matter of fact, coming into the football game, he is the third. James Roberts puts it up and in. It's a 14. Things right there. Two years ago, we led 14 to nothing going into halftime. Looks like we were romping and stomping in this game. But then all of a sudden, Albany State comes from their first two possessions. The first one on a 96-yard opening kickoff return by Sean Bender. This one's going to go to the Rocket at the goal line. He's going to run it out to the 5, to the 10. Cuts to the near side. Got some blocks over here at the 20. Now he's going to run out of bounds at the 23-yard line and a flag down. Fans on their feet, VSU fans on their feet. Here's the kick. End over end, going to drive it into the end zone, and Bender going to field it and put one knee. It'll be first. Funderburk under center. Got Vontrell Mitchell and Carlos Brown behind it. He's going to hand off to Vontrell, cuts it to the outside at the 25, takes it to the 28-yard line, but the Rams tackle it. Look like a face mask against one of the Silverfield out to his left side. Two wideouts on the right, two wideouts on the left. Four receivers set. Funderburg throws it quickly this side to Pender. Pender's looking to get out of there. Can he escape? No, he cannot. It'll be snagged and brought down at the... We're at the 13-minute mark of the first half. Blazers lead 14-7. We hand off to Vontrell. Vontrell streaks through and he dropped the football. The football is on the ground. It looks like Albany State is recovered at the Valdosta State 47 yard. On the 51 yard touchdown toss. Gonna hand off to Leroy. He's gonna smash to the 44 yard line. The Rams gonna hand it off to Leroy again, straight ahead to the 36 yard line. It actually, Albany State got a terrible spot on the play. They're gonna be a yard shy of the first down, but Leroy takes care of that. Is he gonna take it to the AA Division II? 144 sitting at home today. On the busted play in the backfield, straight ahead goes the quarterback to the 31-yard line. He made good use of the busted run. Under center is Purvis Jackson. Now he... Rams bring him up. Going to hand off to the fullback on the far side. He's going to crash down to the 16-yard line for another Ram first. Back position, so he actually could get some more beef there. Going to hand off the lead. No, he's going to be kept by the quarterback on the outside at the five. a great handoff to Leroy, but then he said, no, I'll keep it my... 10-0 to play in the hand. Here's the kick. It's up, and it is good. Albany State 14, Valdosta State 14. We're going to be back after this 30 seconds. Check that. Let's see where we are here. We're going to be back after this 30-second local break. Remember, it came about after the fumble by Valdosta State. They're going to kick this one and going to be fielded by 
The rocket at the seven yard line takes it to the 10. Now down the sideline, 20, 25, 30, 35. Out of bounds at the 37 yard line. Looked like he had worked. The Blackshear bomber under center. Two men in the backfield behind him. Play fake, looks to throw. Deep drop down the field. He's going to throw it. Good at the Rockets down there. Going to be almost caught after it tipped out of the hands of the Albany State defenders from the Good Life City over in Albany, Georgia. 9.44 to play in the half. Funderburg going to hand off right side of Andrell. Tries to turn the corner. Smashed out of bounds at the 49 yard line. And the old it hasn't scored since. Funderburg, deep drop, wants to throw. Comes to the near side. Fender's going to catch the ball inside Ram territory at the 49. And he. Cooksey and the rocket split wide to the right side. Nico and Pender wide to the near side. But we're going to hand off to Vontrell. Vontrell's going to get tripped up at the line of scrimmage and take. Brandon Hall will be back deep for the Rams. Wayne Devane will punt it for Valdosta State. He'll be standing at his own 40 yard line. Puts it up with the right foot. Hall is going to field it at the 13. Takes it to the outside. Got hit immediately. Knocked down into 16 yard line. Purvis Jackson under center. Jackson's going to hand off to Leroy. Leroy is going to take Blazers with him across the 25 to the 26 yard line. High backfield set this time. Going to hand off to Leroy. Tries to cut it to the outside. James Lockhart stands him up. He Purvis Jackson now they've reeled off seven straight to win the SIAC title for the fourth year in a row. Going to hand off again to the fullback this time. Purvis Jackson under center. Jackson goes left, going to keep it himself. Jackson stood up. Here comes Ryan Branson. Here come the Blazer. At the 27 yard line, they were standing him up and pushing him back. I think now the heat is on. Third and seven for the Rams. They want to throw. Coming to the near side. Going to drop the ball at the 40. He laid it right in the number. Trying to hold him down there and get great field position. Gary Goff is back at his own 35-yard line. High snap goes over his head. They're going to chase him down. Here come the Blazers. They're going to tackle him in the end zone. Now we got to jump on the ball. He goes out of the end zone. Got to be a safety and will be. It's a safety. Jelanda Clayton came on and tackled the punter in the end zone. He tried to throw it away, and I thought we were going to be able to get the football, but not able to. They snapped it over Chris Campbell's head. Jelanda Clayton came hard, tackled him in the end zone. He tried to throw it. We bat Here's the kick by Roberts with the right foot, low line drive. They're going to let one of the back guys take it. It'll be Rocket Rodney Brown at the 25 to the 30. Comes to the near side, looking for a wall, will not get it. He'll be swarmed by the Rams at the 34 yard line. Never able to gun. Got Sean Pinder wide to the left side. We haven't gone to Nico much this afternoon, but we're going to hand off to Von Trell out of the backfield, straight ahead to the 39 yard line. Funderburk under center with 4.53 to play in the half. His team leading 16 to 14. Going to hand off to Vontrell again on the right side. Tries to get across the 40. Does to the 40. Only the 11th time the Blazers have lost a fumble all year long. Going to hand off to Vontrell on the right side. First down, Valdez to stay at the 49 yard line. Team Blazers. Here's Funderburk in the gun. Takes the snap, looks, looks, looks. Ball got tipped at the line of scrimmage. One of those big defensive linemen, Andre. It's up by the safety. Funderburk under center, going to hand off to Vontrell. Vontrell looking for a hole, finding one. Takes it across the 45 to the 44-yard line of Albany State this time. Funderburk's going to be under center. 3-10 and counting in the first half of the football game. Going to hand off to Vontrell. He got tripped up trying to dive forward there. He was stumbling on a knee. He's going to be short of the 10-yard line for Albany State is Brandon Hall. Wayne Devane will punt it from his own 45. Clock's running at 2. 25 to play in the half. Blazers lead 16 to 14. Devane gets it up with the right foot. Trying to angle it out of bounds. Hall's going to field it at the 6. That's not a good idea. And the Blazers are going to tackle him right there. Austin Harmon brings him down at the... Purvis Jackson going to hand off to Leroy. Leroy is going to take it to the 11. of the first down under center. Got Leroy in the backfield. Going to hand off to Leroy. Wants to go to the outside. Can he cut it upfield? Dives over the 15 to the 17-yard line. Probably so. Third and inches. 
They give it to Leroy. Leroy is going to bang into James Lockhart, and he will get the state. Our defensive troops were not set. Albany State snapped the ball. Leroy is going to take it to the illegal participation penalty against Valdosta State. They want to throw. Pumps once, looks down the field. Got a man wide open, going to catch the ball at the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. We push him off. He goes to the five. Touchdown. Oh, Vinny State, Vincent Huff. And now a flag down, probably a celebration. The penalty will be marked off on the kickoff. Here's the PAT. It is up and it is good. Albany State 21, Valdosta State. It was. Last time was a poor kickoff and we actually had little coverage. This time we're going to be able to set the ball up. Pinder is no check that. John Taylor's going to catch it at the 20, to the 25, to the 30, to the 35-yard line. Pull down right at the 35 and making the stop. Funderburg needs to go to the end zone. Deep drop. Funderburg over the middle. Going to be caught by Pinder at the 41-yard line. It's a seven-yard set up in the no huddle. Nico wide to the left. Looking left all the way. Now back to the right. Now rolling out of the pocket. Looking to throw down the field. Going to come back and catch it. Rodney Brown at the 34-yard It's going to be in the shotgun. He's got Carlos Brown on his right. We're 34 yards away. Funderburg, deep drop. Looking, looking, rolling out of the pocket. Got a, now he's going to run with it. Flag down. Funderburg's going to be running out of bounds. And Ham Smith's club's going to draw the penalty with nine ticks to go in the first half. And the Rams leading 21 to six. Blazer fans rise to their feet as one on the near side. Albany State standing on the far side. Funderburg with the deep drop, looking to throw into the end zone. There's nobody there but Albany State, and he got pushed by. From the far side hatch, Wayne Devane will hold with two seconds to go in the first half. Here's the kick. It's up, and it's very short. The field. Hands up in the air, and they're really getting this crowd pumped up. Here's McCall with a kickoff. Up and over in, going to be taken by the Rams at the 15-yard line to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, to the 34-yard line. And knocked down at Purvis Jackson under center. Jackson's going to keep it himself on the option, and there's a good job with it. Takes it to the 43-yard line, 9-yard. And he stayed right now, running rough shot over the Blazers. Somebody's got to stop the bleeding. Purvis Jackson under center, back split behind him. Wideouts left and right. Four down linemen for the Blazers. Going to keep it himself again. Purvis Jackson takes it into Blazer territory at the 38-yard line. Lockhart has to bring him down there. And again, Jarball Stevens tried to arm tackle him and couldn't. Valdosta State University rocked back on his heels. First down for the Rams. They're going to go to the fullback. He's going to take it to the 30. Purvis Jackson, the sophomore signal caller for the Rams, going to hand off to Antonio Leroy. Leroy wants to stiff arm one blazer. That's Jarmal Stevens, but Jarmal is going to bring him down, flag down. 12.35 and counting in the third period. Albany State leads it. We send everybody. We, they hand off to Leroy and we pull him back. James Lockhart pulled him back at the 43 and These are fans on their feet slapping their legs against the aluminum bleachers. Balls on the turf. Who's going to get it? It's still, it's still coming loose and the Blazers are going to come up with it. Ryan Branch, the senior from Tiff. Funderburg after the fumble recovery. Maybe he'll go deep. That's what Carl Parker says. Deep drop. Looking to throw the football over the middle. Nico Cooper at the 45. Shakes free at the 40. Cuts back across the field. Gets a block on the far side. And he runs out of bounds at the 35-yard line. First down, Valdosta State inside Ram territory. Side to the right side, the rocket. Rodney Brown. Funderburg looking to the right all the way. Now back over the middle. Funderburg's got to roll out of the pocket. Going to the right side. Now he's going to have to run with it. Funderburg at the 30. Going to be run out of bounds at the 29-yard line right in front of the Blazer bench. And the clock stops with... 
Here's Funderburk in the shotgun. Got Carlos Brown on his right and Vontrell Mitchell on his left. Cooksey's in the slot on the right side. Mike Bowman wide to the right. We're going to hand off to Carlos Brown. Brown out of the backfield. Going to take it to the 25. He'll get stood up. Tries to break free and dives to the 20. Down to the 15. Down to the 12 yard line. Oh, what heroic. What true grit by the freshman from Valdosta. Carlos Brown takes it for a blazer. First down right at the 12 yard line. Oh, determination. In the third quarter, trailing 21-16. You got Von Trell and Carlos Brown in the backfield. Nobody wide to the right side. Nico Cooper wide to the left. He's going to come into motion to the home side. Funderburg's going to be under center. Takes the snap from Jeremy Lundy. Wants to throw to the near side. Going to be caught at the 10-yard line. Falls down a meet. This year, Brown scored 10 touchdowns. Most of them from in close. 10:40 to play in the third quarter. Blazers straight. Valdosta State fans rise to their feet on the near side of the stadium. Funderburg in the shotgun looking for the end zone. Funderburg over the middle. He's there. Nico touchdown. Valdosta State University. And the flame red and black reclaims the lead in the first round of the NCAA Division II playoffs. It's a 22-21 football game. Valdosta State. left. He's got Montrell Mitchell on his right. Playing the flanker position is the Rocket. Looking into the end zone. Wide open. Bender. Yes! Bender for the two-point conversion pass from Lance Funderburk and the Blazers take a 24-21 lead over the Albany State University Golden Rams. Oh my, that fumble recovery by Ryan Brands keyed that effort just as the fumble recovery in the first half by Albany. The very start of the game we got a quarter and a half of exciting football to be played. Here's McCall to kick off. Short, end over end. Blazers are going to come down and they got a flag down at the 39. We got one this afternoon. Compliments of Jelana Clayton. Here's Albany State at the 45-yard line. Looks to throw. Going to get some pressure from behind. Runs out of the pressure at midfield to the 50, to the 45, to the 43-yard line. And he fumbled the football. Did Valdosta State get it? No. They say now Purvis Jackson is showing what kind of quarterback he is. First and 10 for the Rams at the 43 of the Blazers. Going to hand off to Leroy. And he's going to take it to the He was at the fullback position in 94 when the Blazers beat Albany State 14-7 from the this time from the tailback position, going to take it across the full. Fans stomp their feet on third and six. We creep a linebacker up there. Five minute the line of scrimmage. We almost jump off sides. No flag. Knock the ball carrier down at the 38 yard line. No. Chris Campbell already out there. De Jelanda Clayton in the end zone at the left end of your dial. Now Gary Goff back at the 10 yard line for Valdosta State. Campbell's going to get it up and away with a right foot, and we knock him down, and there goes the flag. There's going to be a flag, fair catch, and we got another flag after Gary Goff caught the football. There, he'll be at his own 47-yard line. Gary Goff back at his 12-yard line. Campbell can nail us deep right here with a coffin corner. Going to put it over the head of Goff. He'll let it bounce. It will bounce into the end zone. Go on, come in on that as I talk to him before the game. Funderburg with the football, going to hand off to Vontrell Mitchell, takes it across the 25, slung around to the 26-yard line. Started this football game with a 96-yard kickoff return on the opening kick for a touchdown. Funderburg, three-step drop, comes near side, got a man, Pinner's going to catch it and go out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Funderburg's going to be under center, Vontrell the lone setback, Nico Cooper wide to the left side. Got Rocket Rodney Brown wide to the right side. Going to hand off to Vontrell. Tackle as he got out of the blocks. And the linebacker made the stop on Vontrell. He picked up three yards. It'll be second and seven. They spotted at the 34. Funderburg wants to go down the field. Rolling right. Got some pressure now. Going to throw it as he was running to the right. Intended for Terrell Andrew. Stayed with the football on second down. And got to get to the 42-yard line from the 20-yard line to get a first down. Second and 22. Funderburg wants to get it. Now he's looking to throw to his short man, throws it, actually throws it out of bounds. Ever. Third and 21 for Funderburg and company. Rolling right, looking to throw. The big guy going to throw it to the near side. Flag goes down. The Rockets going to catch it at the 37-yard line. Flag's down at the 33. At their own 31-yard line, working left to right on your dial. Trying to get the 10th victory of the 1996 football season. Funderburg wants it all. Rockets down there. He throws it long. 
going to be knocked away by the Rams at the last possible second by Jonathan Gibson, the quarterback. His own 31-yard line. Four down linemen for the Silver Hats, the Rams from Albany State U. Funderburg, plenty of time to throw. Throws to the far side. Got a man going to catch the ball at the 34, but be hammered immediately on the far side. It's... Funderburg in the gun on third down. Got to get it down the field. Bumps once, throws it over the middle. Almost picked off by the Rams. Threw it out. That's exactly right. I'd love it for travel purposes. They're going to let the punt roll. The and the Blazers are going to pick it up at the 30-yard line. John, who wins out west? Who is higher in the final rankings? If it's Texas A&M Kingsville, we'll definitely fly to Texas in the third week of the playoffs. Auto South has won it seven of the last 13 years. A dominant conference in the U.S. But a handoff to Leroy. Leroy at the 35, takes it to the 37-yard line. James Lockhart is able to hands, clapping their hands, stomping their feet in the background. Let's see what they're going to do. Wants to throw, looking near side, incomplete. The Blazers hold. The Blazers on offense, five on defense. Going to be missing some key people next year. Punter gets it up and away. Campbell is going to punt it and get a good roll, and Gary Goff is just going to let it roll dead. And we got flags down. Somebody maybe touched it down there at the 15-yard line. What do you got, Carl Parker? Jeremy Lundy about to snap it to Lance Funderburg. Funderburg's going to hand it to Vontrell. Vontrell on the outside, snagged at the six-yard line. David Fox and John Taylor check into the Valdosta State University lineup. Funderburg in the end zone, wants to throw out of there. Rolling right, going to throw to Taylor. Taylor's going to catch it to the 10 and take it to the 15 and three. Rams converge on him at the 15-yard line. And 21 Blazers with the football on third and three at VSU's 15-yard line at the left end of your dial. Funderburg changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Got a motion pinder right behind him now. He's going to take a tenner. The big guy from Blackshear. Third and short for the Blazers. Four down linemen for Albany State. Funderburg wants to throw over the middle. It's going to be Pinder going to catch the ball at the 22. Fish. Pinder, the all-time leading receiver in Gulf South Conference football history. Going to hand off to Vontrell on the right side. Vontrell is going to take it. Lone setback is Brown. we got a motion man. The rocket goes to the opposite side of the stadium. Funderburg looks down that way, and now he's going to hand off to Carlos Brown. The freshman from Valdosta will be tackled right at the 25-yard line, actually going to lose two yards on the play. Defense resting on the sideline for as long as we can. They've been out there a long time today. Funderburg in the deep drop, looking right, looking right. Now he's going to roll right, throw down the field, right into the hands of an Albany State player. Actually, they intercepted the ball out of bounds on the lane. will come on to kick it away, and for the Rams, Brandon Hall is back deep. We get a player on late on the near side. Play clock down to two. Got to snap it. We don't get it off. Right now, yes, they do. Now they're going to knock him down. Going to knock down the kicker. Roughing the kicker against Albany State. He tried to block. Not enough. State will still kick it away. Wayne Devane in once again. Devane gets it up and away. High, beautiful fun with the right foot. And a fair catch it at the 25-yard line. Albany State 75 yards away. Ernest Jackson brings up the Silver Hats from the good line city. Got a handoff in the backfield. Blaze is going to take. Second and ten for the Rams. Here comes Antonio Leroy. On the first play of the fourth quarter, Antonio get that ring at the end and with the clock running out in the fourth period. Here's Purvis Jackson. He wants to get into the playoff. Hands it off to Leroy. He's knocked down at the 48-yard line. You can bet right now. Three seconds on the play clock. He gets it off. Gonna play fake. Roll right. Wants to throw the football. Now he's gonna be hit from behind. of Baysmore Hyder Stadium. Purvis Jackson wants to throw.
Blazers are going to put it away. Gary Goff back deep for the Blazers. Here's the kick. We block it. Valdosta State blocks the kick. It's on the ground. The Blazers are going to come up with the football. Huge block by the Blazers. Jesse Sutton. Jesse Sutton blocks the kick, and the Blazers are going to get it back eight yards away from touchdown territory. They're going to spot it at the nine, nine yards away from taking a huge lead in this game with 12-09 to play in the fourth quarter. Blazers with the football. Nico Cooper wide to the left, a likely target. Rockets at the top of your screen. Here's Thunderbird under center, back split behind him, going to hand off to Carlos Brown, running to the outside at the five, goes for the end zone, touchdown! Valdosta State University, the freshman from Valdosta, Georgia, takes it in on the right corner of the end zone, and the Blazers have tacked on six more at Baysmore Hyder Stadium on a playoff Saturday afternoon in Wintersville, USA. at 30 to 21, can make it a 10 point advantage. The snap is low, the kick is wide to the left. The snap was very, with a nine point advantage. We'll take a 30 second local break. This is the Laser Sports Network. back. Vincent Huff is deep, but they're going to kick to one of the up men, and he's going to field it on the dead run at the... Right now, get these guys, because you know they're going to try to get Antonio Leroy into this thing. If we can hammer it, pick up over that last time. 340-pound junior, 6'5 from Atlanta. They're going to give it to Leroy. Goes straight ahead, knocked down at the 29. Really say it below the camera. They stay close, so they won't get able to beat it. Hervis Jackson on second and eight. He's got the Rams controls in his hands. Irvis Jackson going to hand off. They're going to go straight as the hometown heroes of Valdosta State. Vincent Huff tags the quarterback on the behind as he goes in motion. Going to hand it to Antonio Leroy. Cuts it to the outside. 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40. Down the far sideline. Dragged down from behind. Finally brought that into the 32-yard line. And the Ram fans the blue and gold. Rubing it up on the far side. <laughs> he saw his career fading before his eyes. Under 10 minutes to go in the football game. Rams with the ball down by an eye. They want to throw. They come near side. They got a man going to catch the ball at the 18-yard line and be and Jed at the 16-yard line of Valdosta State. Going to hand off to Leroy, and Leroy is going to be knocked down at the 18. Never got his footing down, and Corey Weed and company. Also 45 in the football game. Looking to throw. Rolling right. Now being chased. Balls up in the air. Balls up in the air. Blazers are going to jump on it. Blazers have the football. And that time, Valdosta State's Terry Turner came up with one. We're going to stay with the running game. Carlos Brown is going to take it to... By Martin, marching it down a little bit at a time. Here's Funderburk under center. Funderburk on second and seven. Back split behind him. Going to hand off to Vontrell Mitchell. Going to cut it back to the inside. He'll be knocked down. Funderburk under center. One lone setback behind him. Two wideouts on the right side. Funderburg rolling right, looking to throw the football. Lance is going to keep it himself, heads up the field at the 30. Going to dive for the playoff game, the second first-round national playoff game in the history of Valdosta State football. Funderburg's going to hand off to Vontrell. Vontrell on the right side, running to glory at the 45-yard line of Albany. Funderburg's going to be under center. Got one lone setback behind him. Pinner's in the slot on the left side. Wide to the near side, Nico Cooper. Funderburg, play fake, looking to throw down the field. The rocket is down there, but so is Albany State. They're going to pick it off at the five. Albany State with the first pick of the afternoon. Back to the 10. Cuts across field, dives to the 20-yard line. First interception of the day by Lance Funderburg is picked off. And threw it to the inside. Season slipping away. 
They've lost three consecutive years in the first round. They hand off to Leroy. Leroy is going to bounce around. He'll be... Purvis Jackson wants to throw. Deep drop. Running out of time. Going to be knocked down by the Blazers back at the nine-yard line. to 21. Third and forever for Albany State. They get out to the 30-yard line. Got to throw it long. In the end zone. Going to throw it out of the end zone. Got knocked down as he threw it. Blazers were almost intercepted. Oh my, we had it run. This has been their nemesis. Had one punt block and another one snapped over their head. Low line drive. Gary Goff is going to let it bounce and it'll go out of bounds at the midfield strike this year. Lance Funderburk under center. Jeremy Lundy about to snap the football. One lone setback. That's Vontrell Mitchell. Going to hand off to Vontrell. Takes it through a crevice on the right or eight seconds. Funderburk will take the snap. Again, Carlos Brown in the backfield. Wide outs left and right. Hands off to Carlos. The Valdosta High School product will take it for maybe a yard to the 40. Mass exodus this afternoon, but the Albany State fans headed for the exits and base more hider. Here's Funderburk out of the shotgun. Going to throw over the middle, going to be picked off by the Rams. The second intercept of the afternoon. The Rams have the football. They're going to take it inside Blazer territory, and Jarvis. Team one. Again, Purvis Jackson has to throw. Jackson wants to throw it down the field. Got Huff down there. Huff in the end zone. Touchdown. Oh, and he escaped. Just like that. Here come the Rams. Right this thing. Three twenty-three to go. Here's the PAT try. High snap. Up with the right foot and it is good. 30-28. Rams creep back to within two points with 3.23 to play. In the onside. Roberts with the right foot. No. He's going to kick low line drive and it's going to go. They got to let it go into the end zone. Yes, it will. First and 10 to the 20 for Valdez to stay. Boy, I thought that thing kick it because he's only three steps behind the ball. Onside kick. It bounced up in the air. Going to be caught by Corey Weed. Corey Weed catches the ball on the flat one yards away. Yes, he was. Playing to a two-point margin. Funderburg, play fake, wants to throw. Looking down the field. Nico is there. Does he run under it? Yes. Nico. Valdez to State, five yards away. And here comes a late addition to the lineup. It's Vontrell Mitchell. We got two backs in there. Vontrell and Carlos Black Brown split behind Lance. Got a hand off to Carlos, looking for the end zone. Does he get there? No. He's knocked down at the two. In the end zone, some Albany State players tied up with some Valdosta State players. 2.41 ball. Funderburk is going to be under center. He's got Carlos Brown and Montrell Mitchell behind him, split behind him. Albany State's got everybody backed up right there at the line of scrimmage. The Blazers on the one-foot line. Funderburk is going to look down the line. He'll take every second of that play clock. Funderburk is going to take the snap, hand off to Carlos Brown. Touchdown, Valdosta State University. to the Albany State crowd on the far side. After we didn't get a good snap from center. 2.18 to play in a football game, and doubt that's going to call. to be in the shotgun. He's got Carlos Brown on his right, Sean Bender on his left. Nico Cooper split wide to the left, looking into the end zone. There's Bender. Bender's going to juggle the ball, and he will get in. Bender juggled it, got control just before he went out of bounds, and for the second time today, is a two-point conversion pass in the Blazers. Give the Blazers to kick off. 
Paul McCall, low line drive kick is going to go right by one of the Rams, and then another Rams going to pick it up and take it upfield, get hit from behind at the 36. He wants to throw, and he lost the football. It's on the ground, but one of the old linemen's going to scoop it up and take it to the 40-yard line. Max running at 152 to go in Albany State season. He throws it deep right into the all-time SIAC leading rusher, but they're going to obviously throw the ball. Purvis Jackson on third and nine. Jackson's going to throw it over the middle, incomplete. He had blazers all in his face. He couldn't even see where he was throwing it to. The primary blazer there was Richard Fricks. Purvis Jackson with the deep drop. Got to throw it. Doesn't have anybody to throw it to. Now over the middle, incomplete. And that should take care of that. In there again on Purvis Jackson was Richard Freeman. Matt Mummy in, son of Valdosta State University head coach Al Mummy's going to put a knee to the play clock. Mummy's got to get it off, does. Going to hand off this time in the backfield to one of the.